Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, we are going to discuss about derivatives and we will be discussing in very, very simple words, layman term, you know, derivative is super important in topics like machine learning, deep learning, because we have something called as optimizers. I don't know whether you know about optimizer or not, but internally, if we really want to optimize any function, we will be specifically using derivative to calculate the slopes. Okay. Now, before I go ahead, first of all, the most important thing that we need to understand is about slope. Okay. What exactly is slope? Let's say I have a graph over here with respect to two features X and Y. And let's say X and Y has a linear relationship, something like this. And obviously this equation, you know, what is this equation, right? Y is equal to MX plus C. Now, slope basically talks about, let's say if I have two points over here, with respect to a unit movement in X, what is the movement with respect to Y, okay? So in short, we are trying to understand that if my X is basically moving by one unit movement, how much movement my specific Y movement will be there, right? Y movement will be there. And this value we also can denote as delta X and delta Y. So in order to calculate the slope over here, we just need to divide delta Y divided by delta X. Okay, so once we are able to do this, we are able to calculate the slope. And one unique property with respect to this linear line is that you take any point, right? Any point you take any two points, right? With respect to this, you will be seeing that the slope will be almost same, right? Now, when I'm saying take any two points, that basically means one with one unit movement, right? At any point in this particular line, you will be seeing there will be a same slope everywhere. Okay. Now in this scenario, we can definitely find out the slope by using this simple formula. But what if my equation looks something like this? Let's say I have an independent feature X and I have Y. Y will be nothing but X square. So whatever X values are over here, right? So we are just going to square that particular value and we are going to get over here, right? So if I probably consider as an example, let's say I have one, two, one, two, three, four. So this will be one square, four, nine, 16. Now in this scenario, we get this kind of parabola curve. And this is what gradient descent is all about. You know, if you have, if you know about machine learning and deep learning, we need to come to this specific point. And this point is nothing but global minima. Now in this scenario, obviously, if we really need to calculate the slope between two points, let's say this is my point and this is my point. Now during this, obviously I can see there is a change of movement with respect to X and Y. But you will be able to see in this curve, right? Here, if I probably see the gradient, the slope, the slope will be high, right? If I probably consider the slope is little bit less. If I probably consider over here, the slope is little bit less. If I consider over here, the slope, the gradient, when I say gradient, okay, there is also one more very important concept, which we talk about gradient. Gradient basically talks about the steepness in the slope. Okay, steepness in slope. So over here, you'll be able to see that if I'm trying to calculate the slope over here, the steepness is very high. Over here, the steepness may be a little bit less. Over here, the steepness will be more or less. Here also steepness is less, right? So during this scenario, my slope will never be same for all the two points that we are probably trying to look. So what we should do in this scenario is that we really need to find out with respect to any X point, right? With respect to any X point, what is the instantaneous rate of change with respect to Y? right right so through this and how can we calculate it it is basically using derivatives right now i hope you are able to understand what i'm saying is that since my gradient is changing for different different points over here because i'm having a parabola curve it is not just like a linear line over here my steepness my gradient will be high so here the gradient is very very high right steepness is high over here the steepness goes down over here steepness still goes down so it is not possible to probably use slope and try to calculate the slope itself so instead with respect to every point can we calculate the slope and for that purpose we'll be using derivatives the simple way of calculating a derivative is that wherever we are trying to find out with respect to any instantaneous point we need to find out the rate of change of y okay so suppose if this is the point what we can draw is that we can draw a tangent line Okay, we can draw a tangent line that touches this particular point. And this line when we draw, we can specifically use derivative to calculate the slope of this specific point. Okay. 
for for uh, for a uh, uh, you can basically say that for x moment what will be my instantaneous rate of change with respect to y right so in derivative we are trying to calculate the slope for every points right and once we do this then we will be able to find out the derivative and later on if our main function is to optimize and meet meet this global minima we can reduce or increase the slope values okay so uh, if i probably talk about this once we draw a tangent line all we can do is that we can use a formula called as derivative of y with respect to derivative of x now you know what is x right so sorry what is y y is nothing but x square now in this case if i really want to find out the derivative obviously many people have learned this in the college it is nothing but n multiplied by x n minus 1 so over here you have x square so it will be nothing but 2x to the power of 1 so this will be my output in order to find out the derivative with respect to every points right so understand slope it's very simple here slope is between two points right and when you see this particular line at any two points the slope will be same but in case of this kind of equation where it is a non-linear relationship in this case let's say it is a parabola curve all the points will not have the same slope so what we do instead of taking the slope we try to calculate the slope at every point and to calculate this we specifically use derivative okay so this is the simplest way of understanding about derivative there is one thing also whether this derivative is positive whether this slope is positive or negative right so i hope you are able to understand simple way derivative is nothing but slope of every points of every instantaneous points right and in order to calculate this obviously i have shown you the formula your slope can be either positive or negative now in this particular case let's say my tangent line the right hand side you can see if it is going downwards this becomes a negative slope if i have another line which looks something like this right so over here the right hand side of the line is a positive slope it is since it is upwards right so this basic difference is you need to understand in order to understand about derivative so i hope you were able to understand this particular video uh, but again derivative is a simple important uh, thing that we really need to know uh, yes many people who don't know about derivative but understand the concept right what exactly derivative is doing it is being able to find out the slope at every point in this kind of curves right so yes this was it for my side i will see you all in the next video thank you